Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 NHL players with something to prove going into the 2021 season. Now this offseason we saw a lot of movement whether that be through the draft, through free agency, or through the trades that we saw, which leaves a lot of players with something to prove going into 2021. But these 10 players need to step up big and need to look better next season. So. Who do I see as the players who need to step up big in 2021, and which players do I see having the biggest things to prove in the 2021 season? Watch till the end for all my picks and all the players with something to prove, and of course, hit that big red subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Now we're going to start out the top 10 players with something to prove at number one, and the first player I'll mention today in Patrick Laine of the Winnipeg Jets. Now this one is an absolutely obvious one, but Patrick Laine is a guy that needs to prove more next season. This last season, I thought he had a pretty solid year all around. The goal scoring wasn't quite what we were used to, but I thought defensively and all around, especially at the start of the season, Patrick Laine looked as good as ever. But going into next season with a decent second line center in Paul Stasty, Patrick Laine needs to prove that he belongs on that first line. He's been saying he wants to play a March Shifley throughout basically his entire career, and Paul Maurice just has not given that time to him. If Patrick Laine really starts to blow out, really starts to prove that he's worth it next season, we could start to see him potentially on the first line with Mark Scheifele and even a Kyle Connor. So for Patrick Laine, this next season I think is pivotal, not just for his spot on the team, but his spot in the entire NHL as one of the best goal scorers in the league. He will need to step up big next season and will have to be a lot more consistent too. Then going into the second NHL player with something to prove in 2021, that being Taylor Hall of the Buffalo Sabres. And Taylor Hall, another one that's pretty obvious, but definitely needs to step up big this next year. Obviously, we look back to the 2018 season where he exploded, won the Hart Trophy, and almost deservingly so, definitely should have been in the race and was fantastic for the New Jersey Devils through and through. The next season, it would not go his way, and a lot of that was due to injuries, so we kind of wrote it off as, hey, it was just down here, maybe he'll get back in 2020. 2020. And then he started off the year kind of rough with New Jersey again, got traded to Arizona, and was just not able to get his feet wet with the Coyotes, went into free agency, signed that one year deal with the Buffalo Sabres. It's obvious he's betting on himself, which I think means great things for the Buffalo Sabres and that first line especially. I think Taylor Hall is going to do great in Buffalo, even if it is just for that one season. I think this is a year that is pivotal for how much money he gets in 2021 and will definitely factor how we look back on Taylor Hall's career. Then going on to the third player with something to prove in 2021, that being Vegas Golden Knights goaltender in Mark andre Fleury. Now, Fleury had an interesting year, to be honest. He, over the course of the season, I thought Robin Leonard, especially once, of course, they traded for him, was the much better goaltender and should have been the starter. Then there was a whole controversy of Fleury and the agent and that sword picture and all that. With Mark andre Fleury, he will absolutely need to be so much better next season. And if he doesn't, Robin Leonard will be the guy for the future in Vegas. Now, I'm kind of still surprised that Mark andre Fleury has not been able to be traded yet, but as the season is, or as the offseason has gone by, it seems less and less likely that actually happens. So, for Mark andre Fleury, I think this is maybe the last chance for him in Vegas, and one of the last chances he might get in the NHL. Who knows what happens after this next season, but Mark andre Fleury will definitely need to step up, even though I still see, I still see Leonard being the starter there. Then going on to the fourth player with something to prove next season, I have Ryan Strom of the New York Rangers. Now, as I'm recording this, they're in arbitration and he wants 5.7 million or something. So they're probably gonna land at around 4.5, maybe 5 million on that deal for like a one year deal. To me, Ryan Strom is one of the biggest guys that needs to prove that he can stay on that 2019 level. He was solid in 2019, kind of disappeared in the playoffs, but if he can continue that production next season, that looks a lot better for his future as a New York Ranger second line center and also just as a top six center in the National Hockey League. That's a player that will need to be consistent again. And I think a lot of that was because of Artemi Panarin, why he was so solid last season points wise. I'm not sure if he replicates that again, but if he can, that's big for the Rangers and big for Ryan Strome. Then going on to Henrik Lundqvist at number five, former Ranger, now with the Washington Capitals. And Henrik Lundqvist is a guy that also has a lot to prove going into next season. Obviously, he was bought out by the New York Rangers, 
go went to the Washington Capitals on that deal and will be likely the starter slash backup for Ilya Samsonov. But Henrik Lundqvist has a lot to prove. Not that he's going to be like the top goaltender in the league, but a lot to prove for the New York Rangers that they should have kept him. And I, I think, honestly, he will have a pretty great year. Washington's defense is set up to be pretty solid next season. I think Henrik Lundqvist will try his darndest to get back to that elite level. He might not reach it, but that's a player who I think will have a much better season and a much better rebound season as well. Then going on to number six, I have Jack Hughes of the New Jersey Devils. Uh, first overall pick, of course, in 2019. Didn't have the greatest year. I think we can all admit that. But going into next season, I see him doing a lot better. It looks like he's a lot more conditioned, a lot more ready for the NHL. And I think that past year, kind of struggling a little bit, is invaluable for his experience. I think he's going to learn from that, rebound well, going into next season. But that's a player that has a lot of doubters right now. I mean, I'm a Capo Caco fan. I still like Jack Hughes a lot, though. And I think he will definitely be a great, almost elite player in the NHL. But that's a player that will need to start to really show some improvements and really have to start focusing in on adapting to the NHL level. He was still really raw, and he might still be pretty raw going into next season, but I'm really hoping we see much more of a breakout year for him in New Jersey. Then going on to my second Devils player on this list, and coming in at my seventh spot, I have P.K. Subban. Now, P.K. Subban is on the other side of this whole thing because he's on the end of his career, most likely, tor trending towards that path. But he's a player that over the past couple of seasons has not played his best hockey. But he is still relatively young and I still think can produce solidly. But there is definitely a lot of doubters and a lot of haters out there for P.K. Subban. I'm not sure how much he rebounds next season, but I think P.K. Subban is in a great position to rebound next year for New Jersey. He's going to get the same amount of ice time most likely, even though you do have a Ryan Murray there. But I think he's going to be relied on, especially offensively, and that's a player that will need to step up big time for New Jersey to even be close to a contender. Then going on to the eighth player with something to prove in 2021, we now go to Florida Panthers goaltender in Sergei Bobrovsky. And it's just simple. He needs to prove that he's worth that contract, or even close to worth that contract right now. And with the first season in Florida, didn't exactly pan out that way. Now, I told a lot of people that my words of Obrowski started in 2019, where it was his final year in Columbus. Sure, he got a lot of shutouts, but overall, when you look at the season as a whole, it wasn't that promising, and it definitely wasn't one of his better years in Columbus. And then this season, he had a straight 900 save percentage, was just poor. And I felt the Florida Panthers defense played a part in it, but it wasn't the entire reason. I think he was kind of dealing with some low-key injuries, and I feel like there was something there. But if Sergei Bobrovsky can't be 100%, that is absolutely huge for the Florida Panthers, and if he can rebound big, if he can get close to that Vezda Trophy level, that's a player that could turn the tide in the Panthers' playoff race and could make them into a playoff team as well. Then going on to number nine, I have Habs forward in Jonathan Drouin. Now, Jonathan Drouin is an interesting one because I think in terms of the skill you see, Drouin is one of the most solidly skilled players in the Montreal Canadiens. But turning that into efficiency, turning that into everyday and consistent production has been a real problem. And I think Drouin did make some big steps forward this last year in terms of transition numbers and in terms of moving the puck. But that's a player that still has a long ways to go, especially defensively. There is some half fans out there that think he's amazing defensively. I, I, I really don't see that. I still think he has a lot of work to do. But that's a player that when you just look at the skill set, he has the potential to be a top six forward and a bona fide one. And I think this year might just be his last chance. Mark Bergman has already given him a lot of chances, but this next year, if he can't be consistent, if he can't be a better all-around player, his time might be done in Montreal. Then going on to our last player with something to prove in 2021, but there is a lot of honorable mentions I do want to mention. There is a lot of guys, guys like Tuka Rask, who are pretty solid. Marasmus from the line, potentially on Buffalo. Josh Anderson from the Habs. I'm just listening off the guys. Matt Murray, potentially from the Ottawa Senators. Max Domi with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Noah Hannafin with the Calgary Flames. A lot of players that do have a lot more to give and a lot more to prove in 2021. But going on to our last spot at number 10, I have Jesse Pugliarvi from the Edmonton Oilers. Now, Pugliarvi, Ajo, and Line. Ajo has already proved quite a bit, but you got Line and Pugliarvi there in that picture. Representing Suwami, baby, let's go. But Pugliarvi is a guy that definitely has a lot to prove. He was fantastic in the Liga over the past year and a half. 
Now he's signed back with the Edmonton Oilers. And that's a player that if he can really break out big, he's going to be huge for that Edmonton Oilers lineup and potentially that middle six. I think Jesse Bouliardi will have a great year, especially if he's able to get consistent power play time. That's a player that's looked so good in Finland and a guy who I think is ready to finally be an established NHL player. It seems like he's matured quite a bit. He's kind of, I would say made a lot more of himself as a mature guy, a lot more of himself of a leader. And I think that's a player that hopefully will do big things in Edmonton next year and hopefully will do big things in Edmonton for the rest of his career as well. I'm hoping so, and I'm hoping that Pugliarvi steps up big time. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the Grab Gang, and hit that notification bell as well. Comment down below what do you agree and disagree with with my list, and who do you think is the one player in the league that needs to prove something going into 2021? Make sure you share this video with your friends, get it out there, and click this card for all of my predictions and picks videos right in one playlist. I love you. Just Puliari loves you, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.